Hey everybody, Jam Creates here, doing another video. This time we're going back to doing something. I've done a couple of these before. Uh, I figured I would bust out another one. I've got a lot of these in the bag to do, um, but I figured I would just do this one since it seems like, um, eh, I don't know, it just seemed appropriate. I'd pick this one now. So this is one of the comics that I created when I was a kid. Um, it is called Dark Leopard. And yes, you can see right from there, Akeem Wakanda is Dark Leopard. I mean, okay. I don't think it's really too difficult to figure out what the inspiration for this book was. Um, I wish I had written a year on these things. I don't remember exactly when it was done. Um, but let's get started, shall we? Um, it starts with this book. Actually, um, I just want to mention... Um, I don't really talk about it that much, but I do have a website, um, and if you go to the website, uh, a lot of these books are up on my website, and you can read them online, so if you, if you really do, if you would like to actually read the full issue for yourself, um, be my guest, um, they're all up there, um, this one may also be on my Tapas, um, site as well. Um, just look for Jam Creates on Tapas and you'll find it. Um, there's a whole Jam Comics Classics line there and it's got a bunch of them on there. And I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones that's up there. Um, so you could definitely check that out. So anyway, the, uh, back to the, back to the book here. It's Predator and Prey. It's somewhere in Africa. There's a safari group and, um, you know, like, it's funny because like, you can see, like, I had obviously like a, a different understanding from what a safari group would be even a big game hunting group back in the day they're looking for something to bring back to joan and the baby um like they need to hunt for their food i guess is the idea um oh look at that um uh, i did these on like um the backs of like old homework assignments and stuff and hey look 10 out of 10 <laughs> so anyway um, there's like, again, there's no backgrounds. I never drew backgrounds in any of these things. I did, it is in full color though. Um, they get attacked, something, oh my God, you know, Frank, stay with Jim. I'm going back to camp. And then, rawr, ah, you know, um, and then, uh, this dude, I like, I really like that behind the back claw thing, by the way. Um, Joan, run and take the baby. And then he gets slashed in the back and then she's like i hope it doesn't find the baby she sticks him into this conveniently placed uh tall grass i'll come back later if i make it and then she shoots the gun i don't know why she's jumping at the tree um and then we go you know uh it says the baby is picked up by a native of the leopard tribe and um it's brought to the king he brings it back to the village they brought it to the king why have you brought this baby to me he is the promised one, the sacred dark leopard. He is our savior. Uh, and see, an extensive search for the child came and went. So they looked for the kid. They didn't find him. And um, as he, he grows up, he's raised by the, uh, in, he's raised in this leopard tribe. His name is Akeem Wakanda. Because I guess I just needed to stick that Wakanda in there somewhere. Um, because I just, whatever. Um... <laughs> He's a teenager, he's being trained for battle, um, now he's a man, it's time to see if he really is the sacred one. He must pass the test, he must kill the king, Takala. And then so, like, no no question, okay, just, uh, this is it, we gotta figure this out, so wham, stab, punch. You see, he's not our sacred one, I would not say that. And then he breaks the spear, and then he punches him in the face. And the king disappears into the jungle. So I guess he didn't actually have to kill him because he just ran away and they declared him the new king. And then they give him this cool outfit, which um, may look familiar. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, we shall see. And then this guy comes around. I don't know where he came from. Got a problem with that guy? I can handle him. Good, do it. Looks like the Ripper's got a job. Time to get that guy. And yes, this is the Ripper. He's, uh, I mean, you know, he's got claws on his hand. I wonder where that idea came from. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, so he stalks the Dark Leopard, and then he attacks him, and he, he's like, I promised the guy I'd kill you, so I will. <laughs> like, okay. 
and he gets slashed. I did a lot of blood in my comics, apparently. Um, he kicks him into the rock. You fight good, too bad I have to kill you. Um, no, you don't. <laughs> I like that. That's his comeback. No, you don't. <laughs> I just cracked myself up with that one. Um, that's brilliant writing right there, by the way. Um, and then he picks him up over his head, throws him in. See, look, full background, full rendered environment there. Not a tree in sight, but that's okay. Throws him into the river. And then a lot of these books end with this one page, you know, let us celebrate. You are our hero. The Dark Leopard has come. And then dun, 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 dun. there it is. The end ribbon. I'm going to actually have to put that in anything I make from now on, aren't I? Because I'm just realizing that it's in every one of these books that I made. Um, like, literally, it's in every single book, comic book that I made when I was a kid. They all end with that, the end ribbon. I'm literally going to have to put that in anything I make from now on, aren't I? Because I've, like, established this precedent a hundred years ago, and it's going to have to continue to be done. Oh, well, whatever. Um... But anyway, yeah, this is, uh, so this is Dark Leopard, number one. Um, and before you say, well, that's like a ridiculous name, by the way, I want you to know, if you look it up, there actually is a species called the Dark Leopard. It's a real thing. You. Yeah, that's right. You over there scoffing at the name. It's a real thing. Now, yes, it is a blatant ripoff of Black Panther, but whatever <laughs> um it's funny like i always liked uh i always liked this when i was young i always thought that was like a cool pose of him jumping um and i liked that one too with the slash um i don't know whatever it's just cool it's fun i always liked this one too i just thought that was like a cool picture you notice he's got no neck like none of these people have necks it's kind of funny actually <laughs> got no neck <laughs> Um, but it is what it is. This is stuff I made when I was a kid, you know? So, again, like, the influence is clearly, like, right on its sleeve, like, what it is. Um, you know, it's not the, uh, you know, none of these things are amazing. Obviously, I made these when I was a kid. Um, most of them are, in fact, uh, rip-offs of something else, um that I liked as a kid. I was a fan of Black Panther as a kid, so I decided to make Dark Leopard. Um, so that's, it is what it is. Um, so that's it. That's Dark Leopard, uh, issue number one. I don't, there was never an issue number two. Um, I made a lot of number ones over the years when I was a kid. Um, not a whole lot of, like, follow-up issues and stuff. I just liked it. I just really enjoyed making up new heroes, so I would make a lot of issue ones. However, however, you will see when I do another one of these, uh, maybe I'll do another one soon and you can see, a certain villain does return in someone else's book. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, um, so I had all these grand ideas for these characters as a kid, and it's funny because it's just fun to revisit these things. And like I said, if you actually want to take a better look at it and, and read it yourself, uh, so you can laugh at all the wonderful dialogue like the one that cracked me up um, feel free it's on my website and it is on my tapas um, hope you know if I remember when I put this video up I'll put the the link for both in the description so you can just click on them and you can check them out there's a bunch of other books up there too and I'll, eventually I'll probably make videos about all of them um, just because it's fun whatever um, I think it's like a fun way to look back I think I think a lot of people would enjoy having a chance to look back at some of their old silly creations and laugh about them and stuff so that's that so that's the dark leopard uh if you like this video if you want to see more videos like this let me know um in the comments tell me in the comments tell me what you think um and you can also click the thumbs up uh subscribe share like that would be nice it's the season for sharing um you know, just let me know what you think. Uh, if you want to see more of these kind of videos, I have a ton more comics that I created as a kid, and I would be happy to share them with you so you can laugh at them with me. 
Um, and that's it. Like I said, you want to read it. There's PD. I think there's even a PDF available for download on the website, and then you can read it on the Tapas, uh, my Tapas account. Um, uh, so that's it. That's Dark Leopard. Um, you know, let me know in the comments what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, I know I already said all this. Um, click the thumbs up, jingle that bell for notifications, subscribe, like, subscribe, share, everything. Yell it out the window. Um, and that's it. I will talk to you soon. Follow me on Twitter. I'm at jam underscore creates. And, uh, well, on Instagram, at jam underscore creates. I'm, I'm jam creates on everything in some variation or another. And if you click on it, you know, on one of them, if you search for them, and you look for, you'll see my Smiley Bones, who right now is probably Santa Bones. My That's my logo. Um, you'll know it's me. Okay? So, peace.